In Space Marine 2, there is quite a hefty leveling system in regards to the six classes, all of the weapons and more. Today guys, we take a deep dive into how this system works. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm giving away a couple of copies of the Ultimate Edition of Space Marine 2 thanks to Focus Entertainment. Now do you guys want to win? Well it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Space Marine 2 videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them before this game releases on September 9th. So good luck everybody. So with the multiple different things in this game to level up, which I'm sure you are already aware of, but if you ain't, a quick little recap into what's on offer here to level up. Firstly, we have six playable classes. These are the Tactical, the Assault, the Bulwark, the Sniper, the Vanguard and the Heavy. Each of these classes has a perk tree within them, with each perk becoming unlocked or available to unlock upon you leveling up levels, there are 25 levels in total here in regards to unlocking all perks on these perk trees. Perks on these perk trees unlock from left to right, so you will need to unlock the top line first and the second line and the third line. Uh, within each vertical column you can only select one perk here, so fully maxed out you'll be able to have a total of 8 perks selected on your class. There are categories here to these perks also, we have core, team, gear and signature. Core affecting mainly your weapons, uh, ammo etc etc. A team is the effect you can have on your team in regards to buffs and so forth. Gear affects your ability for the most part. And then we have signature and the major benefits for here are sometimes part of the ability you have. But other signatures on some classes can affect overall gameplay and gameplay style. It's definitely like each class has a few different directions they are meant to be built towards and signatures go toe and toe with them. Now in regards to leveling up your classes, you need to be doing the operations. These depending on the difficulty you select will range in XP that you will earn along with that currency at the same time. Now the game offers four different difficulties, we have minimal, average, substantial and ruthless. Now in regards to what you play on will massively determine what you earn for completing operations which are this game's three player co-op PvE missions where two of the same class cannot be used. Now the minimal difficulty will reward you 630 XP per completion giving you also it states 35 of the requisition which is used for almost everything in regards to unlocking things in this game which we'll talk more about in a quick second. I do want to speak about this though at the same time, although I am playing on early access here, this is the footage you are seeing. The operations upon you hovering above them state that the rewards on minimal difficulty for completing operations is 630 of that XP with 35 of requisition and the discovery armoury data. Now the XP seems to be guaranteed upon you completing the mission with it also raising by 10 XP for each extra thing you do in regards to the list you can see on screen now. These could also indeed play a part in you getting a maximum of 35 in regards to that requisition as because when I was completing some of these operations I was getting like 25 of the requisition so yeah I don't think it's ever a guarantee neither that discovery armor data either so yeah keep that in mind. Maybe I'm missing something but there was no instruction given here on to how this works. Now the discovery armor data is used specifically in unlocking the three sections of your weapons. The first represented by the green discovery armor data is called Master Crafted. The purple is RT Fissa and the yellow is Relic. These I will add are rewarded to the player upon complete operations and the higher difficulty you play on the more of a chance you have getting those are better versions. Now it isn't as simple as just getting the discovery armor data either. These are used solely in unlocking the versions of the weapon which add on extra benefits to the weapon too as you can see this being applied via stats on the weapon themselves. It also seems upon unlocking the versions of them progressing into the artificer and the relic versions of the weapon will require said discovery armory data at the same time but you also need requisition in unlocking them too it seems. Under the perk tree of each weapon, it's then clear you need to get mastery points too. These are earned via you using said weapon and earning XP 
on them. And then there's a separate set of perks you can apply to your weapon, which, like I said, require those mastery points. So there's a lot going on here in order to max out said weapons. So it's not just all about your class too. There's plenty of leveling to do here. And this is just the same system across all weapons and all classes in the game, by the way. Now, requisition is also used in unlocking your class perks too, as I said. I mean, you'll earn XP and it basically allows you to purchase them then for that requisition. So they're not fully unlocked when you get their XP required to unlock said perk. I mean, you still won't be able to select it unless you purchase it for that requisition. So requisition is a massive, massively important currency in the game. But it's not just this, requisition is used across the board people. It's used with also customising the appearance of your class too, in regards to those colour palettes, shall we call it. Now the actual armors are unlocked via you doing the challenge associated with them. For the most part it's completing uh, a certain number of operations or eternal war, which is this game's PvP. Uh, but with more or less everything here tied behind you farming thousands of these requisitions because there's just so much here to unlock too it's going to be quite the grind but i guarantee you 95% of the people watching this are ready for this grind i'm probably even going to customize my character before i start unlocking perks for it i want to look good on that battlefield but let me tell you Having played the game, even on that minimal difficulty, it can get absolutely ruthless. And depending on who your teammates are, you may need to invest in leveling up your character's uh, perk tree. I mean, it's just one of them things. So as good as you may want to look, guys, it's very, very important to spend these, these requisitions super, super wisely. So yeah, that is the lowdown on the leveling system within Space Marine 2. There's plenty here. It can be a little bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it uh, sooner. It's not that bad, to be honest. It's just that there's quite a few different, well, there's like five different currencies which are used to unlock perk tree slots. They're used to unlock weapon versions. And then we have mastery points used to unlock different perks in the weapon perk trees. So it's quite a lot to get the hang of, but the system all in all isn't a bad one but it will take a lot of grinding that is for sure but there we have it guys just want to give you folks the lowdown on how to progress within space marine 2 guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one